Why does this music make me so happy? I'm so happy. Hi there, my name is Kepi Cates and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Oh my gosh, guys. So as we watch our sweet Tapir go doo-doo. <laughs> hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. You can't help it with them watching on camera. It's okay, baby. You do you. I understand. We'll get that cleaned up for you in no time. <laughs> Scoop da poop. Scoop da poop. Don't lay in it! Oh my. <laughs> Anyways. So yes, welcome back to Planet Zoo. What a sweet baby. I did not realize how goofy Tapirs look, but they are absolutely precious. They kind of look like a pig and an elephant had a baby. <laughs> oh, I love them so much. So we are currently still doing the tutorial. Um, I, I was like, do I keep recording the tutorial but honestly me trying to figure this out I think is hilarious because I know I'm terrible at it <laughs> so probably if we do end up streaming Planet Zoo on Twitch it will be me practicing either in Sandbox or a separate franchise um, because I want this series to have its own franchise <laughs> Hello, you little goober. And then once we do start our own zoo, that's when I'll start asking you guys for names or we might be naming some zookeepers after you and stuff like that. But during the tutorial, it's just going to be me learning how to be a terrible zookeeper, apparently, because, yeah. Um, I did read some of your comments. Uh, I really appreciate all the positivity. I did also read the other one about uh, this habitat being too big. It does look way too big. This habitat is way too big. We would have to have like a whole bunch of walkways down here for the uh, the patrons of our zoo to even see the tapirs. Because as you can see from over here, they can't even see what's going on. And I, I bet they find that super frustrating. But like I said, even though we haven't necessarily done this the correct way, I'm learning how to do it the right way by doing it incorrectly. Okay, so... We are missing food enrichment, which for some reason last time wasn't showing up. Um, even though I clicked on this, I don't remember there being any options other than the underwater fish feeder boxes. But now I am seeing we've got this, which looks super cool. I kind of want to put this in a place um, where our patrons could see. Maybe like right here. Like that. If I move it down, no. Like that. Nice. How does that look? Does that look good? Oh, yeah, that looks really good. Look at that. Okay, and then they also like this. And this looks like a load of fun for our for our little babies. Let's do, uh, let's do a couple of these, actually. There we go. And our babies are hungry. Do they need... So we got them food enrichment items, which should be going up. Nutrition. Last meal quality. Oh, we need to increase the meal quality. We did that last time, if I remember correctly. Let me figure out if I can do that again. Aha! I found it. So now I remember when you click on the exhibit itself, we can increase the food quality. Let's go ahead and go all the way up. Why not? Let's get them better food quality. Oh, this is so great. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Oh, look at them. All right, so now let's click on our tapirs. Oh, much, much happier. All in the green. We're all in the green right now. Oh, it's so good to see them in the green. This isn't great, but that's just the, that's the genetics of this particular baby. You can't fix genetics. So now I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start increasing the uh, line of sight for our patrons. 
and add some glass barriers. Uh, so let's do that. That way our patrons are a little bit happier because they're a little angry that they can't see right now. Uh, paths. This is the path. Oh, excellent. So we'll do... Is that the path we want to use? My goodness, that's pretty interesting. Let's do some basic asphalt. <laughs> I don't mean to be cheap, but it's on the ground. You know what I mean? Okay, perfect. So now what we can do is we can take the barriers and we want, we want glass. So if we select this and we changed it to glass, so now they can come down here. I'm assuming. Do they know to come down here? Maybe they don't. <laughs> Do you guys not know to come down here? You can come down here. Like, that is a thing you can do. I believe in you. <laughs> Are they confused? I tried, y'all. I tried. They're afraid of the staircase. They're afraid of the stairs. Do, do I need these? No power. That's a problem. We need power then. We could put power down here, right? Hmm. Oh, there they go. There they go. <laughs> How silly. We can get a transformer right here, though. This will work. Should we get a little box to put it in, though? We should. Okay, there we go. There we go. There's some power. There's power. And now look, they're using the walkway. Don't fall in, guys. I don't have fences in yet. <laughs> but now they can at least, uh, they can see the tapir now. Yay. We have provided visual. <laughs> cool. So now what? All right, so now that we've done that, I think we can move on to our next exhibit, which I think if I remember from last time, we were supposed to build possibly a chimpanzee exhibit. If we do that, though, we're going to have to make sure that everything is really, really, really tall so that they can't escape. Or at least to climb proof everything. So I had to sell and release some of our tapirs. I guess I had been buying them, but not putting them in the exhibit. So we quick traded a couple and we released one into the wild as well to get some credits, which was really cool. So now our tapirs should be really, really happy uh, from the looks of it. Their social is happy. It's just the breeding pair that's in here. Um, they've got everything they need. Probably a little too much space, but hey. How can you complain about too much space, you know? You know? All right. So I think we're going to put our chimpanzees over here because there's a really cool walkway and you can get a visual of them from up there. We might even do it right here. But we might have to sell the trees as chimpanzees can probably climb trees. So that's, uh, that's a little interesting. Okay. Well, let's get started. Okay, so I added a barrier. <laughs> I added a barrier, and now I think we could possibly go ahead and add them in. I added the climb proofing as well. So the only thing is, is that the only place you can really see the chimpanzees as of right now is from up there. So hopefully that doesn't cause any problems, because I don't really have any place for people to walk right now unless I make like a staircase where they can come and walk around here which is totally possible I could probably do that um, but let's go ahead and take a look at animal trading let's see if we can't find animal market uh, species oh yes <gasps> look at these oh my goodness there's so many Okay, and I know we don't have any chimpanzees in the zoo currently, so let's go ahead. Um, 
This one? This one might be cool to get. How much do we... Oh, we have plenty. We have plenty. Adopt. Send to zoo. We'll go ahead and put them here. Oh, I need a gate. I need a gate. I forgot. Oh, okay. That's important. See, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. We need a way... So down here is what exactly? Oh, power. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, But this honestly wouldn't be a bad spot to put a gate, potentially. If we just, like... We can make this work. Possibly. Hmm... Oh, finally. So I figured out that I did actually have to put barrier right here, <laughs> even though I didn't want to. Uh, I kind of cheesed it a little bit to make it look good. But now we can finally put in our chimpanzee who's going to get in here and is probably going to be like, where, where am I? I hate this place. And their reaction hopefully is going to help us figure out what we need as far as giving them the life they deserve. Uh, I think we will also go ahead and get, let's see, let's, ha let's see what, we'll see what happens when our baby's delivered. We can always pause too. Uh, so once they come in and kind of tell us what they need, we can pause, my, my, get all those things. Busy, haven't you? Yes. Bloody I'm not done though. But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. Okay. So let's get the average we need a hard shelter. Nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Go on, get to it. I'm working on it, Nancy. Goodness gravy, not everybody's a professional like you. So, we need a really good climbing area as well as a hard shelter. Um, let's see, as far as plant coverage goes, we've got some plants in here that shouldn't be here. Uh, so, we can remove all of these. We'll just remove them. We don't even have to move them. We'll just remove them. There we go. So, they're gone. Um, we do need some enrichment, of course. Social is very important. So we will need another, at least one more, but possibly two or three uh, more adults in here. Very neat. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start with terrain. We absolutely need a hard shelter habitat. Let's go. Okay. Beds and shelters. Let's do shelter. I kind of like this one with the slanty roof. It kind of makes me smile. I do need to make sure that's big enough, though. Let's see. 8 by 4 by 2. 8 by 8 by 4. 8 by 8 by 4 as well. This one looks pretty nice. Whoop. Let's see. We could put this one... We could put this, like, right here. How's that? Uh... Much better. Pause. Okay. Now we need some climbing. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. This looks really fun. Oh, lemur climbing. Oh, large animal climbing frame. A climbing frame. Ooh, one. Ooh. This is neat. I like that. Small animal. Small, 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 small. Small. Okay, so all of the large ones are up front. Oh, now that looks like fun. That looks like a lot of fun. Like if I was a chimpanzee, I feel like I'd enjoy that. Let's see. Good, 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 good. Oh, that makes me really happy. Okay. Um, it might be cool to even add, since this is such a big exhibit, we could possibly add another one. I don't want too much, but I like the idea of giving options to our animals. Okay, let's hit play. Was that too much? Is that too much? No, it's just right. What? Oh, they can fix that. They can fix that. So already this is looking a lot better. Um, the exhibit itself is pretty good as far as grass and everything goes. Um... Looks like they don't really need much as far as playing in water. 
Okay, so now let's go into nature. Let's choose Africa, tropical, and it should show us everything that we need. Oh my gosh, y'all, I am a sucker for weeping willows. Like literally, I love them so much. <laughs> Oh, and there's a little smaller one. How perfect. I am the biggest sucker for weeping willows. It is embarrassing how much I love weeping willows. Okay. Honestly, that's probably good for weeping willows. I could go insane with the weeping willows. <laughs> um, oh, we even have some ferns here. What's this? Oh, I do love these. These are always fun to play with. Fig tree. <gasps> That's neat. Now, will they climb these trees? Is this a is this a problem? Mm. Oh, you guys, I'm playing with rocks. <laughs> I love rocks. Oh my gosh, look at this rock. Ah, uh, if I add water in here, will they be unhappy? I have to know. I does this has to know. Hold on, terrain. Can I add water? Can't, can I add water? Are you going to be mad? Are you going to be mad if I add water there, bub? Whoop! Whoops. <laughs> that looks so good! Are you mad? Not enough short grass? I can fix that. Are you okay with the water, though? <gasps> they like the water! Okay, that's fine. I got you. We'll get you some more short grass in here. I will make this all the grass. You will love it so much. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Okay, go lay down. We're going to make this a little more green and mossy over here because why not? Is that too much? Is that too much? Oh, I love it. He And the water doesn't bother them. Okay, I think we could almost be ready for a buddy. However, let's go ahead. We need to get them some food, like something fierce. Okay. Okay, so this looks good. The small fixed roller feeder. That was something that I saw. Um, I would adore. Let's see. Let's do this one. Ooh, nope. No, 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 no. It is Z to rotate. Let's do this one, maybe like right here. Cause we want the patrons to be able to see what's going on. That looks nice, okay. Um, I saw something about a tool puzzle feeder. I feel like that would be a lot of fun uh, for, our, for our chimps. Give them a little brain work as well with getting their food. Like so. Okay, so there's that. And then let's choose one more. I like the forage box. I think that's such a cool concept and we can stick it right in the middle there. So that might be a lot as far as them having food enrichment, but you know, gotta keep life interesting. Now let's do some toys. I saw something about the mirror mobile. And we could put that maybe close to the food. Like there. And some bobbin enrichment. Back here. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing, buddy? Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Coverage is still bad. We need more plants. This looks good. Social's also bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our buddy a buddy, and then we can add plants while they get to play with each other and kind of get used to their environment. They like the rock. That's cool. Look at that. I love that. All right, let's get our sweet little boy here a girl. Okay, we've got a girl coming. We've got a girl coming. Okay, so back to plants. Let's go ahead. We can play with some of this stuff. Ooh, lily pads. I do love them. I do. I do love them. 
Ah, uh, yes, absolutely stunning. <gasps> Are they gonna meet? Are they gonna meet? How's that? How are you liking that, buddy? We need more. Oh, they ran right past each other. So they have really large social groups. So we might, yeah, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's get them some more. We have another one coming. Look. <gasps> They're getting along so well. This is excellent. Great. So we know they're going to get along while we put in some more nature. Time to play with some more rocks because I do love them rocks. Oh my gosh. Should we have a diving board? Yep. That's, that's their new diving board. No big deal. It's totally cool. <laughs> Looks good. Oh my gosh. I'm having so much fun with rocks. Who knew I would enjoy rocks so much? <laughs> of all the things the rocks are making me happy oh yes please give me the mangroves i will take the mangroves all day long <laughs> look at that yes i'm in love i'm literally in love with this and they like the rocks too now that that brings me joy right there guys Knowing that our chimpanzees are like, yes, this, this feels like home. We even got a little coconut palm going. We need some more mangrove trees. We need some more. Can never have enough of those. Just saying. Look at this little one. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Maybe more of these too. Guys, they need more. We need more adults. Which is kind of incredible. So let's just go ahead and we will just bring these other adults in here. There we go. They're on their way! Yes! Okay, let's see. How are we doing on our coverage? Still too few plants. That's okay. I can play with plants all day, guys. All day. Let's do this. An apple tree? What? <laughs> what about... Banana palm? That does look like fun. <gasps> look at the pretty fern! Oh, uh, we gotta find something with flowers. Surely there's gotta be something with flowers. Elephant ears! I love elephant ears. They are such a fun plant. Like so. Nice! We're getting there! We're getting there! Some vines. Where would we put these? Oh, I see. Like that? Does that even work? Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. Ah, uh, yes. We finally got the social group just right. Excellent. <gasps> Look at this giant rhubarb. What? Okay, we need some more stuff by their little house back here, I think. And this looks great. I adore this. What is that? Oh, yep. We're mixing it up. We're mixing it up. Just a rhubarb bushel that they can go play and hide in. Because, you know, especially when they have babies. I bet babies would love to play hide and seek with each other. Oh my goodness. Okay. <gasps> yes, we're just in the range. But I feel like we could add a little bit more. Just a little more. Oh, I like these little bushes that we can add. They're just kind of clusters of green, really. But the thing is, is that this looks like fun to play in. And that's what this is all about, is what looks like it would be fun to play in. 
And this looks like fun. Could just be me, though. <laughs> oh. Let's do a fig tree, like, right over their forage area. So they've got some more of that. Did something happen? Is our animals... Are they okay? <laughs> okay. So we are just still, just barely, just, just barely um, getting this where we want it. Um, Let's do some rock cluster over here, just so that they've got more to jump on. I do feel like in some ways I kind of have like sections and nothing's really working together cohesively. But we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. A lot of this is going to be trial and error of me learning what works and what doesn't. That looks pretty cool. Maybe we need like a... This could be a little basking area. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, that looks like a little throne. I just, I created a tiny little throne. What is this? A climbing rock? Hold on. Align to surface. Uh, 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 I'm so confused. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. That actually looks pretty darn good. Our enrichment looks good. Oh, we could actually use some more toy enrichment. Okay, let's let's do that then. Let's do a couple of cardboard boxes, like maybe over here. Better, better. We still need more. They need some more. Um, okay, remind me what toy enrichment they like. Ooh, they like the ice block. A musical keyboard, heck yes. And a, and a drum, for sure. We can make that happen. There we go. This will be our music area over here. Let's get that drum going. Let's have some drums. <laughs> much better. Much, much, much better. Oh, they're so much happier. Ooh, the storm is a-coming. Okay. So our welfare is 97. Nutrition, we could honestly do a little bit better in nutrition, I think. Um, let's go ahead and increase our food quality, because why not? Whoa, look at all that rain. Oh my gosh, it's a monsoon. Run, little ones, run. Are you in the shelter? Yes, I'm proud of you. Oh, oh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Okay. Nutrition's a little better. Everything is so great. Everything looks really good, guys. We don't have anything in the red. All is excellent. So now I'm just trying to figure out size. Uh-oh. Oh, this is genetic makeup. I thought this was the, the, the habitat for a second. I'm like, what are you talking about? Now, how is our habitat? Everything looks good. Uh-oh. Our tapirs aren't happy, though. They need uh, available food and bedding. Do they, How do they not have food? Let's get them some bedding. Wow, so everything for our tapir is 100%. Absolutely incredible. Everything. All of that's 100%. That is awesome. Now, as for the habitat itself, if we have to make that good, the cleanliness is great, the barrier status is great. 
It does look like they aren't getting as good of a view, unfortunately. So we may have to do something about that. Everything else seems pretty good, though. Available food. That's a problem. Why is there no food? Hmm. Why is there no available food? Oh, well, it might help if I had put food trays in the uh, exhibit. <laughs> so, uh, there's one. It might help if we had another one maybe somewhere. Like, maybe... Oh, is, can there only be one? Oh, no. It's fine. Ooh, like right there? Okay. Nice! We can do that! Yes! Okay, perfect! So now the food is being assigned over there, so now we need a trough over here! Okay! This is good. This is good. This is good! Are you coming, sir? Alright, have you brought the food? Please tell me you've brought the food! The food. Fill it with food, bub. Are you bringing the food? We need food. <gasps> Here comes our hero. Here comes our hero. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Food. No wonder they kept saying they were hungry. Oh, look at you! This is good! Finally! They have been waiting so long. They're like, gosh, I was starving. I was starving because the grass and plants around me weren't enough. However, there we go! Oh, look! Look, the man has come with the food! Where are you going? Uh, cool? But the, the trays are here, though. Hmm. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, I guess he's doing the enrichment first, and then he's going to come do this. Okay, whatever you got to do there. Whatever you got to do. Okay, so I went back to kind of read uh, what I was supposed to be doing, because I was starting to get frustrated and confused. Like, didn't I do everything? So apparently we have to make sure that the overall of the zoo is 90% and above. So it's not just the tapirs and the chimpanzees we have to worry about. It's our other animals that are here. So for example, this, uh, this one, these, um, I believe, mandarins? What are you? Come here. Come here. Come here, cute butt. Mandrill. Why did I say mandarin? <laughs> Uh, these mandrill are not happy because they don't have a hard shelter that is sufficient enough to cover all of them. So we need to add another hard shelter for them. So let's go ahead and let's get them another hard shelter. Maybe a small one, just a little extra small one that will hopefully help with their happiness level. One right here would be like almost perfect if I could just get it in the right spot. I wish I had the terrain tool. This would make this so much easier if I just had the terrain tool. Okay, I'm going to put this here. We're going to move this. I have a plan. I have a plan. No worries. Nature. Go away. We're going to do this. We're going to click on our mandrill. Hello. Are you a little baby? You're a little baby. Oh, it was the same thing anyway. So we're going to do that. And then I think we'll just add like a little bit of rock here. 
That looks pretty cool. Like this, almost to make it look like it's not floating. It's actually on rock. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Okay, I got that. And then let's do another, like... Hmm. <laughs> I can fix it. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about, though. That's what we needed. Kind of like that. And then maybe just another one. so hard to see with all this stuff going on there we go right there okay okay how do you guys like that is that good last meal quality is poop too still not big enough mm. Maybe we just need to get rid of that. That's a climbing thing, though. They just need more shelter in general. Okay. Okay, well, we raised it a little bit, but it wasn't great. It does look like our lemurs need some more toy enrichment. So, let's go ahead. We've got our lemur clicked on. Let's view in the Zoopedia and see... Ooh, an ice block might be fun. Some rubber duckies or a colorful ball. I love all of those. Okay. Ooh, let's do a colorful ball. Oh, they already have a colorful ball. Oh, no. Uh, do you guys have rubber duckies? I think those would be really cute over here. How do you feel about that now? Much, much better. Much, much, much better. We're so close, you guys. We're 88%. We got two more percent to go. Let's check on our other little babies. How are you guys? They don't have enough toys either. Oh, no. You guys need more toys. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Tell me. How can I help you? Small ball. Colorful ball, rubber duckies, ice, pretty much anything will make you happy. Perfect. I got you guys. Don't worry. Let's do one of those. <gasps> we did it! Yay! But you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. We did it, you guys. We finally finished this portion of the tutorial. I'm so excited. Goodness, it took over 30 minutes to do that. <laughs> but we got to build a whole new exhibit with the chimpanzees, and I feel like I'm kind of learning what looks good. Um, goodness, there's a lot. I mean, other than professional soccer players. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Plowing all those funds back into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> <laughs> now, as far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Uh-oh, so I think Bernie gave us a little bit of foreshadowing, saying that some people have far less noble goals, which is really interesting. But it's kind of fun. He made a really good point there. It is expensive to run a zoo. It's very expensive. But the the welfare of the animals needs to come first, even at the, the price of the 
of the enrichment of the exhibits of everything of how much it takes to feed them and he was funny he's like it makes me feel a little less bad about how much we charge in gift shops because you know you grow up thinking oh my gosh it's so expensive at the gift shops and zoo food is so expensive but you think about they're feeding the animals they're making sure they have enough enrichment they're making sure that the staff there gets paid so that good staff can stay and take care of those animals so I thought that was an excellent point so remember that when you're going to the zoo and you're like oh my gosh $15 for a burger well that could be you feeding a lemur or making sure a lion gets quality meat so just think about that the next time you're at the zoo kind of complaining about the prices you're helping out Okay, guys, well, next episode will actually be on to the next step in the tutorial, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> so I hope you liked this episode. If you did, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And jingle that bell so you're notified of when I post Planet Zoo. Also, also, please click the follow me link down below to get my socials because I probably will play this on Twitch um, to help myself learn a little bit more. I feel like I'm still floundering over the controls a little bit, but practice makes perfect. So I think I probably will stream this. So if you want to see me live streaming Planet Zoo and learning some things and you want to give me some tips, uh, feel free to follow me on Twitch so that you can do that. All right, I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week for more Planet Zoo. Bye!